What's next? Next? <laughs> Didn't you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list. And you? You can enjoy life in the center. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list? They'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden? I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah, thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, Lawan. Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is.
civilization. <laughs> you exaggerate. Hey, hey, There's wars between Madam and Butcher. Oh, what's the chance that they're attacking this far from the dam? Juan Rainer? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you from Meyer and the commander. And my name's... I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang-up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please, make yourself scarce. Well, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? All right, listen. I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. You really need him? Or Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So you have to try harder. Huh. Okay. Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim, but you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm-hmm. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try next? Did you make headway with the Papa's ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. <sighs> Let me guess. He scarfed down five courses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. But I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. Voice message from 5.36 p.m. Mr. Bukowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. As soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. The one. I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Fuck. 
There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay. I'll go there. snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, have I embarrassed you? I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Bottled a year before the pandemic broke out. One barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. <laughs> to your health, handsome. I say you broke down my defenses so you're still after those lamps did Matt tell you why he wanted them and why he really wanted them yeah to take control of the TV tower wait he's serious is he crazy nobody tried that for over a decade Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the butchers coming attack so we should start building him a monument right only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Let's help each other. Smart man, Aiden. Barely in town a minute and you've picked the right side already. I'll give you the lamps. That'll keep Matt from getting suspicious. But then, go to the cathedral. There's a guy hiding out there. Total nutjob, but a tech savant. 
Get him to fix this old piece of spy tech. If we get it working, we can bug the transmitter Jack wants to place on top of the VNC spire. Have him do his thing. By tapping Matt's comms, we'll find out what he's doing with the extra lamps. And knowing's half the battle, kiddo. Hey, enjoy your company, but I'll need you to go now. Juan Juan sent me on an errand into the cathedral. Is there anything I should know about? Not much. Just that people say it's haunted. Haunted? About what? A a ghost? You're right. (laughs) The cathedral's been locked up for years. There's gas around it. You could probably use that to climb to a window and get inside. (laughs) Still sure you want to run errands for Juan? Might as well. Suit yourself, big boy.
primitive beings. Thieves overcome with greed. Surrounded by wonders you cannot comprehend. And then, I get bored of wondering. And just kill you. What the fuck happened here? Hey! You there? My name's Aiden. I just want to talk. here. I got a job for you. And I got a surprise for you. I hope you like this room. Because it will be your final resting place. Hey! Oh, great. Mm, the cables. I've got to find a source of power. My son, I died like a warrior. What are you talking about? Kill me. She sent you to do it, so do it. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I, I have a job for you. What? So you're not an assassin? No, I just came to talk. You're an engineer, right? I have a name. Kurt. What do you want? Who are you really? I'm a pearl cast before a swine. I'm a king without a kingdom. I am tragedy made flesh. Right. You mentioned you had a son? Like everything else, taken away from me. I know how that feels. 
Spit in any street in this city and you'll hit somebody who lost a loved one. So, um, who's this woman who wants to kill you? Vagina dentata. A vagina with fangs. Wait, what? A major bitch who wants my balls on a platter. That good enough for you? I see. Maybe I can help. You don't know what you'd be up against. I handled that monster down there. Leto. She was just a poodle with a speaker by comparison. Okay. What was it that you wanted again? I need to plant this bug on a radio transmitter, but it needs to be fixed. I'll make it worth your while. <sighs> Impossible without a few parts. What parts? Uh, the wiring is corroded. You can find replacements in the North Tower. The army left their gear there. How will I find it? It would be protected from the elements. So look for a box below the antenna. All right, fine. And uh, what's your price? Let's leave that for later. As a surprise. I really don't like surprises. <laughs> Good luck. I'm stubborn. Well, perhaps you will be of use to me. Return to me. Wait a moment. You did it. Wasn't exactly hard. Okay, so... What's the surprise? What do you want in exchange? You have little to offer that to be any use to me. Wait, what? I'm a programmer. In a world of people who only eat shit and sleep. What could you pay me? A pigskin? Five bottles of booze? The surprise is... I did it for your friendship. Oh, well, that is a surprise. I'm honored. I guess. You overcame my traps, defeated my defenses. Let's trust one another, Aiden. That will be my reward. Okay, Kurt. And, uh, thank you. <laughs> 